Historic towns are living storybooks with new chapters being built structure by structure. The heart of places like Bardstown resides in the downtown, the area where history holds a special place, telling stories of growth, development, setbacks and rejuvenation. Hi, I'm Matthew Fogel at Bourbon Manor in Bardstown. As time goes on, our town branches outward, but the historic district remains the core, holding it all together. Bardstown, deemed the most beautiful small town in America in a 2012 Rand McNally survey, was in many ways named as such due to local preservation efforts. Bardstown was, uh, was founded before 1780 by folks that wanted to move further west to where the crowding wasn't so bad as it was on the east side of the mountain ranges. And Bardstown became a, um, one of the premier settling uh, points because of the uh, wonderful supply of water. Uh, it was very fresh, dripping over limestone. Um, and of course, later on, that became a, uh, a quality that was great for bourbon. We also had very fertile soil here, and crops would raise uh, were easy to raise. We also had an enormous supply of standing timber, uh, poplar trees. Um, I mean, there, were just a, there was plenty of reason to be here. Uh, Bardstown was uh, settled in the uh, mid-1770s, was incorporated as a city of Virginia in 1780. What do you say is so special about the preservation efforts in Bardstown, Kentucky? Well, as you know, Bardstown is, is the second oldest city in the state of Kentucky. And we do have a lot of historic homes that have been well kept and well manicured. And that's part of our history. And so many people around the state that don't have that type of history enjoy coming to see the homes that we've had restored and, and, and preserved. Um, we chose to move to downtown Bardstown because we, we've always loved the big houses and the old houses downtown. Um, and the walkability of the community. So we enjoy that and being able to walk with our, our daughter to different places to class or to work even. Um, so that was important to us. And then also just, we loved how homes with stories. So that's really neat for our kids to be able to grow up in an old house and have a story. It's a hundred years old, so that sounds um, pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a quaint community. You've got a lot of, uh, you know, nice neighborhoods, and then you've got downtown Bardstown, which is such a, a good place to, to dine and shop and walk. I mean, exercising downtown, it's just a good environment. So I think that's what's such a, a, a big appeal for us. I think living downtown, we can walk into town if we wanted to, and, and there's so many options for us here. Historic preservation to me means that you save the, the buildings as they exist, but at the same time, you allow them to be modernized and to be stabilized and to be painted when, uh, when it's appropriate uh, so that they will be carried on into the next several generations to come. Preservation is not all about the romantic notion of keeping everything exactly as it once was. Historic preservation has its practical effects in development. The historic district is not the only area impacted by the success of the historic district economic benefits are spread throughout the community. Historic preservation is important in protecting the beauty and consistency of the downtown, but also to ensure the economic success of the community. Bardstown is a very attractive place for business owners. Um, being a business owner in a historic district uh, means a lot of things. It means it's a very important part of history. They have a responsibility to preserve that history, but in return, it offers tourism, support from their neighbors and community, as well as a strong sense of pride in the community. I opened uh, Peacock on 3rd in October of 2009, so it was four and a half years now. I knew that when I decided to open a business that it would definitely have to be downtown. Uh, I knew that the tourists and the locals, uh, we have a very vibrant downtown and I wanted to be a part of that. One of the many misconceptions surrounding historic preservation is that it is preferred to freeze the historic districts in time. Historic preservation is not about stopping time and development. Preservation should sustain the integrity of the district while also allowing and promoting adaptation for future uses. It is a little bit more like conservation. Our house was probably not in terrible shape when we found it. Um, it, it was really well taken care of, so that was nice, but um, there, we found a lot of benefits to buying an older home that was already built. Um, first off, just the cost. You know, we looked at, we did consider building for a brief minute, um, 
and we found that the cost was we we were able to buy much more for our money and um, getting it at an existing home yeah I mean it was it was cost prohibitive um, to, to, to have the amenities that you wanted um, in, in the location that you wanted and so we, we found that we could purchase an existing home and kind of tweak it to what our needs were going forward and uh, be able to stay within our budget. I think it's the original charm of the home. You kind of get to see it in its, you know. Former glory. Yeah. yeah. I think with the, our home specifically, um, whoever restored it in the past did a great job. We've got uh, three original fireplaces and, um, you know, of course we've got some some newer things in here, but for the most part, all the the original things are here, and it's just very pretty to see, like the um, the molding, the crown molding that's still in the house. Everything's just very, very Everything's very original. Original, it's pretty. So I think that's the best part about restoration is you get to see it in its former glory. Did our homework and and kind of dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's that the process was very smooth, very uh, easy, straightforward, and, and things really fell into place much quicker and easier um, by doing that than versus kind of going um, with the flow type deal. Yeah, I, I thought people were really reasonable and actually encouraging when we started, so that, that was nice. We. We had heard mixed reviews, but we had a super successful, I think, experience in regards to the application and then actually carrying out the project. We're not 100% finished. We still have a little bit of work on the outside to finish, but um, it, it was easy. I have no complaints. When we first moved in, we had a, lo a lot of changes that we wanted to make to, to make it our own. And after getting everything, you know, cleaned up and where we just liked it, it was perfect. So I think it was uh, definitely an accomplishment for us to ha have all this work, um, you know, that we wanted to do and now it's exactly how we like it. So that's been very nice. In 1986, Bardstown became a certified local government or CLG. Kentucky's CLG program is a local, state, and federal partnership that promotes historic preservation planning and protection of prehistoric and historic resources at the local level. Through this grant, the Bardstown Historic Review Board was established. Having a board such as this gives Bardstown the ability to be proactive instead of just reactive in the area of preservation. The Certified Local Government Program was created by amendments to the National Historic Preservation Act in 1980. And the creation of that program allowed local governments to partner with the State Historic Preservation Office and the National Park Service to promote historic preservation at a local planning level. Bardstown has been a certified local government since 1986, so they were one of our early communities to sign on to the program. By becoming a certified local government, your community is showing a commitment to historic preservation and it's showing that they recognize the value of historic preservation to your community, to um, creating an identity for your community and a sense of place for your community. Well, there are some very broad-based requirements to becoming a certified local government. First of all, you have to have preservation legislation in place, so you need to have a preservation ordinance. And you also need to have an adequate and qualified preservation commission so that you can administer your ordinance. And you need um, staff support, of course. And in addition to that, you need to provide for public participation in your preservation program. And you need to have initiated and make a commitment to maintain an ongoing survey of your historic resources in the community. A historic resource is anything in your community that is at least 50 years of age that may have significance or cultural value. Communities that make a commitment to being a certified local government, they uh, partner very closely with our office in Frankfurt and we provide them with technical assistance and expertise and support. And it also allows those communities to compete annually 
for a pool of money to carry out preservation projects in their communities. Though many properties and resources are historically significant, to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places, a property must maintain a quality of significance in American history, architecture, archaeology, or engineering. The property or resources must also fall into one of four categories. A. They are associated with events that have made a significant contribution to the broad patterns of our history. Or B. They are associated with the lives of persons significant in our past. Or C. They embody the distinctive characteristics of a type, period, or method of construction, or that represents the work of a master, or that possess high artistic values or represent a significant and distinguishable entity whose components may lack individual distinction. Or D. They have yielded or may be likely to yield information important in prehistory or history. If you have a structure you would like to put on the National Register, the CLG coordinator can assist. You know, Bartstown was fortunate enough uh, in our city leadership in the late 1960s that they implemented historic overlay zoning in 1967. That was one year after Congress passed the National His Historic Preservation Act. So we've had it around for, for all of my life, or more than my life, I should say. And really, we've been the benefit, my generation is the benefic beneficiary of, of that foresight by our city leaders that, that many years ago. The benefits of locally designated historic districts are many. Um, the primary benefit is probably property value appreciation. Uh, it's been shown time and time again that uh, local historic districts not only stabilize but actually improve property values relative to the rest of the real estate market. And um, this is a good thing because it can increase investor confidence. It gives property owners a feeling of security about making an investment um, in their property, especially if it's a, a large rehabilitation project. Um, they know that their neighbors will be held to the same standards that they are held to, and that helps to support value. Local districts also have a lot of um, social and psychological benefits to the community and to the people who visit and reside in them. Um, historic districts are designed to be walkable um, because a lot of them were designed before automobiles were in widespread use. And just the act of walking around your neighborhood um, and interacting with other people uh, brings a social benefit to everybody. Historic overlay zones are districts that have been deemed by the local government as having historical, architectural, and or cultural significance. This designation is to assure that alterations, additions, and or new construction does not impact the historic character of the district. This is ensured by the requirements of COAs, or Certificates of Appropriateness. COAs were created to establish a review process according to locally enacted design guidelines. These guidelines are meant to protect each resource's character. By establishing guidelines, the community is more consistent in aesthetic, and this expands the worth of the community. A review is required for any exterior alterations within the historic overlay. The review process is administered by a staff person and reviewed and passed by the Bardstown Historical Review Board. This board is responsible for keeping the consistency of the district intact over time. The guarantee that drastic, unsympathetic alterations will not occur in these historic overlay zones creates stability in property values. Studies in several states have shown that property values in designated districts never decrease, sometimes remain the same, but typically increase. Jobs are also created more readily in historic districts. There are more opportunities for small business owners in historic districts. The rent is generally cheaper in the historic structures and being on a main street, the walkable area of the city creates exposure for the business. We have such a vibrant downtown in our historic district and the wonderful ordinances we have for our signage and for keeping our downtown uh, looking very good, it, that has all benefited me. In 1979, Kentucky developed the Main Street program. This was in an effort to revitalize downtowns and ward off threats of economic decline. The Main Street program focuses on helping, in a grassroots sense, 
working directly with historic district business owners to make quality of life and business good for everyone. Kentucky became the first state to have a statewide program. The national program for all of the country actually didn't start until a year later in 1980. So Kentucky is the first. What we do is it's based on a four point approach and we basically, our tagline is we make downtown better. Um, we took the history from probably 40, 50 years ago when downtown started to change and our goal is to bring those communities back and give them a sense of place and a community where people are volunteering and actually it's a grassroots organization, not a government body. And getting all of those people involved to create the place that they want for their downtown. So it is economic development based in historic preservation. We like to have, um, it has a director. Sometimes they are part-time based on the population of their community. And our goal is, as I say, to make the economic development occur in a historic downtown and bring people back to the heart of their communities. We have a very strong Main Street program and most of the downtown businesses belong to this Main Street program and we meet monthly uh, in our meeting and we jointly decide how we're going to advertise our downtown, what events we're going to have and it benefits all of us. Main Streets are the core of our community. They tell us who we are, and where we've been. The Main Street program provides a strategy for revitalization, powerful network of communities, and the benefit of a national support program based around a four-point approach, organization, promotion, design, and economic restructuring. Because we have such a vibrant downtown in our historic district and the wonderful ordinances we have for our signage and for keeping our downtown uh, looking very good. It, that has all benefited me. Well, heritage tourism and the effect that it has on our local economy is huge. Um, all across the state, we've, we, we've taken pride in, in, in preserving our, our natural heritage and resources that we have in our own homes. Barstown was one of the first communities in the state that uh, had a historical district in our downtown and we've strived to, to continue to, to improve on that and make it a, a landmark for around the state that the people come to see how we've done the things we've done. And really over the long uh, history that we've had of, of uh, uh, preservation, it's, uh, it's uh, really held up and, and people come to see that. Other communities that are trying to uh, adopt the same principles and things that we have here uh, make it an annual visit to see us and we get uh, and we get a lot of recommendation from our state agencies to uh, come and visit our community because we've kind of set the benchmark for what state preservation is all about. People travel to experience places, activities, people and stories from the past. Just down the street is my old Kentucky home and right here in downtown Bardstown is the old Arco and Medley theaters and now it's called Cressel's Restaurant. Heritage tourism drives economic growth by attracting travelers and all you have to do today is look right downtown and see how it all works. Economics and beautification are not the only positive aspects of a successful historic district. Sustainability is also an important aspect of the benefits of the district. Rehabilitation is a great way to be green. Building construction debris constitutes a third of the waste generated in the United States. By using existing structures and updating them, a more sustainable future begins. Projects like repairing historic wood windows instead of buying vinyl update as well as conserve energy. I, I had a, an experience with my home uh, here in downtown historic Bardstown where my porch received a little water damage from a roof leak I had and I had to replace the, the columns, you know, a couple of the columns on the front porch and it was difficult to find caps for the, for the columns and the historic commission was able to help me out with that. You couldn't find the same material from years ago, but we found 
something that was very appropriate and ma actually matched, uh, made of today's materials. And it, that preservation allowed for us to, to maintain the, the, the essence of the house and the, the uh, sense of place that we have in our downtown historic district. Maintaining a sense of place is the overarching theme of historic districts. There are many memories and histories held within this place and the cultural sense needs to remain the same. The district does not need to be frozen in time, but the essence of the town should remain the same. The charm of Bardstown remains even with the new construction and modern businesses integrated in the fabric of the historic district. For this very reason, demolition of historic properties needs to be avoided as much as possible. Neglect of structures is no reason to demolish them. Losing historic structures creates a void in the feel of the district. Demolition of historic properties is taken seriously here in Bardstown. Demolition by neglect occurs when the deteriorated condition of historic structure can be attributed to the owner's failure to provide proper maintenance over an extended period of time. But this is not a common occurrence in Bardstown. Properties must be monitored and protected so this issue is not a problem in the future. Historic districts like downtown Bardstown create strong community bonds and activity. They have in common a similar respect for historic structures. Through these bonds, the future looks good for Bardstown. Working together to keep downtown beautiful and sustainable is guaranteed that the businesses and homeowners will thrive. Preservation is not a romantic ideal trying to keep everything as it was in the 18th century. Preservation is a goal to maintain a sense of place and well-being in Bardstown.